might have actually guessed what you have to do in order to display our options and its values. So I want you to pause the video and try to figure out a way for our input fields to have the current values inputted. You already have the knowledge to figure this out, so go ahead and try it. Did you figure it out? Well, if you did, that's great. If you didn't, that's fine as well. We'll go over how to do it together. First, inside our page, we're going to grab the option using the get underscore option function and store the return value in the theme underscore OPTS variable. Now, all we have to do is create value attributes and assign its value to its corresponding key in our option. So, the Twitter field should have the Twitter value, and so on and so forth. For the select menu, we're going to use an itinerary operator. This is special to PHP and not WordPress. We're going to check if the value of logo underscore type is equal to 2. If it is, then we'll echo out selected for the second option. We won't do this for the first option, since browsers will set the default value to the first option. For the footer, we'll just echo out its value as well between the text area tags. Let's refresh our page and see if everything works. Everything seems perfect, but one thing, the footer. If you take a close look, it seems harmless until we look at the link tags we created earlier. They have some unwanted slashes. As I stated earlier, the Options API will sanitize your input regardless if you do it anyway. But in our case, we want the footer to have valid HTML. So how do we solve this? Well, we can get rid of the slashes by using a function called strip slashes underscore deep. This function is actually an extended version of PHP's strip slashes function. The only difference is WordPress's version will actually go deeper to strip slashes and will even go through an array to remove slashes. So it's just a tad better. I want you to wrap the output within this function like so. Now if we refresh our page, the nasty slashes we didn't want earlier are gone. The last thing we need to do is display the message after a successful submission. So, right above the form tags, insert some PHP tags. We're going to use a conditional statement and check if the status key is set in the get variable, and we're going to check if its value is equal to 1. If this conditional statement is true, then we're going to display a success message. Refresh the page, and we should now see our success message.